I know you're gonna dig this. I don't understand what... Hey everybody, this is what happened, but you weren't here, so you missed it. It's Sunday morning, and it is late already. I have got to get dinner prepared. I'm making sort of a fast food moussaka today. Well, it's like semi-homemade. It's mostly not homemade, but kind of homemade because I'm making, I'm putting all the ingredients together. I've already got some breaded eggplant that's vegan and some already cut up and seasoned potatoes um, for the moussaka. If you don't know, moussaka is eggplant, potato, kind of like a little stew with some tomato sauce and bechamel on the top. So, I'm going to make my bechamel in the rice cooker, as I usually do. I'm going to use my chopper here, which I absolutely love, to dice my onions. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Well, if there's one thing that I hate doing in the kitchen, and that is chopping onions, because my knife skills are not that great, believe it or not. <laughs> and I used to be a kitchen uh, demonstrator whatever and I used to hate to have to use the knives all right this has a very small window of chopping so you kind of have to play around with it a little bit but it's still better than trying to um, do it by hand when you're not happy with it so I'm just gonna get these sauteed already the jar sauce over here just gonna add some Greek seasoning to it so that it's like moussaka. How's everything? <laughs> How was the pool? Pretty good. Delicious. It's a little humid today. Yeah. I'm a little hot in here. Um, yeah. I'm just going to put this all together. Potatoes on the bottom with the sauce. A little bechamel mixed in. Eggplant. Well, no. Meat sauce. Eggplant. Bechamel. And then we should be good to go. Get that in the toaster oven and we'll be going. It's, uh, it comes together pretty quickly when it's semi-homemade. Alright guys, here we go. Here's the potatoes. You know, you can tell I like to make a lot. This is going to be for like lunch tomorrow. So <laughs> I love leftovers. It's so good. And if I'm going to go through all the trouble to make this, I might as well make extra. So I have the potatoes on the bottom with the bechamel on top. The bechamel came out really well. It's a cashew um, based milk and, well, cashew milk, flour, some of this, uh, the Nutiva coconut oil with the butter flavor because you, when you make a bechamel, you use butter and flour and milk. So you could do that vegan. Just about anything that you could do cooking wise, you could do vegan. Just takes a little bit more uh, creativity. But after I have the potatoes and the bechamel, here I have my uh, beautiful bolognese meat sauce that basically I just added a little cinnamon to because that makes it very Middle Eastern Greek. So I'm not going to put too much sauce on that. Over that is going to go the eggplant. So I'll just cover it up pretty well. And then... Um, it's gonna come together very quickly and get ready. I'm gonna do this one actually in the microwave because I'm not taking it with me and I'm doing this one in the toaster oven so that it gets a nice um, crispy crust on the top. But this eggplant is a lifesaver. It's just so easy and it's really not that expensive. And if you make eggplant from scratch, I'll take my hat off to you because it's a lot of work and it soaks up a lot of oil sorry I didn't want to touch you with greasy hands but um, to just buy it in the bag like that is so much more efficient and more efficient use of your time and it's vegan which is awesome so just go with that and then on top of the eggplant I'm gonna put uh, the rest of the I'm gonna split the rest of the tomato sauce and then just top it off with the bechamel on top of that and smooth it out like um, you know, seal it in like you were making a um, shepherd's pie, God bless you. 
So I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. All right, there we go. One semi-large moussaka <laughs> and one medium-sized moussaka. So this one's going in the toaster with the crust and this one's going to go in the microwave. And it won't have a crust because crust doesn't um, happen in the microwave usually. So I'll show you what they look like when they come out in just three, whoops, <laughs> two, one, boom. And there we go. This is the one that was in the toaster. You can see it's brown on the top. Bless you, Sean. Sean's still sneezing. <laughs> Didn't he sneeze in the last clip? I think so. And this one was just in the microwave. I put it in for five minutes on high, let it rest, another five minutes on high, let it rest, and then another five minutes on high, and then it's just been sitting out here cooling. When you go to serve it, you could uh, pop it under the broiler if you want a crust like this one, or you don't have to. You can just eat it like that. So, microwave, oven. <laughs> All right, Granny, we got our weekly check-in, and oh, Maddie's not Maddie. here this week, so do you have a message for Maddie? Oh, our dear Maddie, we missed her dearly today, and I hope she enjoyed the play, um, An American in Paris. And, a musical. Uh, a musical. I know, I know she did, because she texted me yeah, and said that she enjoyed it. Yeah, I know, we all love musicals. And it was a nice day out. She deserved that because she worked so hard through the week. Yes. So it was a little change of pace, you know. Uh-huh. Did you watch Dancing with the Stars no, this really week? I don't really watch that. No? No, no. I don't really watch that. But Derek Huff is back. Oh, he is back? Yeah. Oh, was he <laughs> in the show? <laughs> yes, he was. Oh, how nice. I'm he, sure. You know who he's dancing with? No. Mary Lou Henner. I don't know her. She was on, she's an actress, but she's also written about 10 different books on health. Oh, she knew me. No. Oh, so she's been on the show. She before. hasn't been on Dancing with the Stars before, but she, everybody's new because. Oh, oh. oh when the new season The celebrities are, starts, yeah. When the new season starts and they get new celebrities. Right, oh. right. So it's on tomorrow. Really? Yeah, oh, at 8. If, yeah, if you're interested. Oh. I'm sure what Derek will be, right uh, no, two hours. I think it starts, what time, seven eight o'clock. Eight yeah. Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. So I'm sure Maddie missed you, too. Yeah, she like sent it. you that picture of St. Patrick's Cathedral. Oh, I didn't see it too good. I got to see it All again. All right, we'll show you again. It was from way over there when you were Yes. Home. Do you have a message for oh, your I fans? Oh, um. Oh, well, uh, dear friends, <laughs> I, I, I hope you enjoyed your summer vacation. Because um, it's over. Well, not quite. You still have Soon. maybe a couple of weeks, you know. Yes. And I hope you are all doing well and looking into the fall season, which we hope will be a good one. Okay. And Tell um, everybody have a good week. Yeah, have a good week and take care of yourselves. Yes. Okay. And we think of you always and pray for you, too. All right. Oh, hello. Hi. Why, what's this? This is my new favorite shirt. Awesome. I couldn't even wait to wear it. I had to wear it tonight. It's so, I feel how soft it is. Oh. <laughs> I oh. had such an amazing time today. Did you tell everybody where you went? I went to Broadway with my <laughs> dance parents. <laughs> It was so much fun. We went to see An American in Paris. Nice. Um, which is going to be going on tour soon. I think it's closing in like October. Isn't uh, Mark Ballas going on tour with it? No, or? he's going to be in Jersey Boys. Oh, right, 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 right. Actually, I don't know if An American in Paris is going on tour, but it's closing on Broadway. Oh, wow. So we saw it just in time. Nice. Oh, my God, it was so good. I loved it. I'm gonna you even got a special pro program I over there. I got a beautiful program as well. I want to be. I wish I, I didn't even see your playbill. Yeah, let me get the playbill too. Guys, I'm gonna insert a few pictures right here. <laughs>
right now. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. Uh, I love the artwork for it. It was at the Palace Theater. Yeah, the some of the plot lines were different from the movie, and um, there they were usually a, are in the musical. There were a lot of songs in the musical that were not in the movie, like, and a lot of songs in the movie that weren't in the musical. So, like, right. it was diff. I enjoyed it because it was different. It wasn't like a street. Yeah. You know, it wasn't a street conversion, which was interesting, wow. and I really enjoyed it. Excellent. Looks like you're having second I'm dinner. I'm having second dinner. <laughs> <laughs> How was the moussaka, by the way? Freaking out of this world. Oh, thank you. It was so good. Thank you. What are you having for second dinner? I'm having a little wrap here. Oh. I'm gonna have this special. Yes. No. Organic. Special. I need a fork. Yes. Uh, what are fork. you having? I'll get you a fork. Thank I'm you. having a beautiful ginger gold apple cut up with some almond Jeremy. butter. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Granny was all excited for you today. I know. I wish Gra Granny would have loved it too. I know. Granny loves Granny's musicals. Granny's musical gal. Yes. Granny's the Broadway gal. She's a Broadway baby. When I lived in Manhattan, <laughs> <laughs> and I did. <laughs> I know, Granny, whenever she tells those stories, she's like, now I lived in Manhattan. I was like, I know, Granny. <laughs> I'm your granddaughter. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I'm her daughter. I know these things, too. I've heard it for the last almost uh, 80 whatever years. No. You haven't been around that long. I've heard it for the last 50 years. 51 years. Hi, Minnie. Oh. Beautiful baby. So I was waiting for you. I Not know. really. <laughs> Brother told me it was okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Minnie. baby. She's like, um, can I look at your plate when you're done? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, that looks lovely. Yeah. I hope you guys all have a good day. It was nice to get away yeah. for the day. Get away from Big Brother. Mm -hmm. Just like, I love musicals. <laughs> <laughs> I love art. Imagine living in the city and going to musicals all the time. I was thinking like, oh, it would be so nice just going to musicals all the time. Yeah. It's a big production though when we live like two hours away. Yeah. I know. And it's expensive, but it's really great to go out once in a while when you can because it's nobody does it like Broadway. Absolutely. Yeah. All right then. Why don't you sign off because I have to edit this. Swan. Because I have to take Sean for a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning early. It's go okay though, bud. No shots. No shots. No shots. No shots. No shots. Yeah. Why don't we let Sean do it? Yeah. No, loud. <laughs> Please, come on, see you ne next time. What's up? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Edit. What's up, guys? <laughs>